Well, the verdict itself was somewhat of a surprise, but a bigger surprise, it was an hour and a half long speech by the presiding judge Antonetti. In this speech, Mr. Antonetti has effectively rewrote the history of the Yugoslav Wars uh, in a framework which uh, actually coincides with the framework of the accused. You reported yourself from the Croatian town of Vukovar, which was razed to the ground by Serb forces in 1991. We've already had the Croatian Prime Minister come out and say he thinks this verdict is shameful. Given what you saw in Vukovar, what do you think of the verdict? Well, I uh, think that uh, uh, Šešelj uh, was a villain, uh, plain and clear. Uh, now, whether, uh, uh, but this I'm speaking as a journalist who covered most of the wars of the former Yugoslavia and who also gave evidence against uh, Milosevic, Slobodan Milosevic, Serbian strongman, during his trial. So what the legal experts uh, may say, I don't know, but in my eyes, uh, Mr. Šešelj is still a villain. What do people now then think of the court in The Hague in Serbia? I don't think there, uh, this uh, particular verdict uh, will uh, uh, improve the general opinion in Serbia about the court, which is very, very negative. Uh, this is, after all, just one trial and uh, among many. And Serbs, like most other nations of the former Yugoslavia, uh, do not like when foreign courts try their citizens. So as, uh, not only in Serbia, but in the region, um, ICTY's work is not really appreciated. And I guess in Croatia and in Bosnia, this verdict will uh, cause quite a stir. You have elections coming up soon as well in the country. Do you think this verdict will be a boost for the nationalists? Oh, yes. But even if he was uh, uh, convicted, he would still get some fr uh, free airtime and in portray himself as a victim. Now he's portraying himself as a uh, conquering hero. But eventually it all comes down to free advertisement and he will score a couple of points. He is looking reasonably healthy, even though he returned to Belgrade to have cancer treatment. What has he been doing recently, Vojslav Sesher? He's been doing what's been, him, been, what he's been always uh, doing. He's been holding rallies. He's been uh, burning uh, flags, Croatian flag, American flag, EU flag. Uh, he's been uh, insulting his opponents. In other words, he's campaigning very much in, uh, I would say, Donald Trump style. Yeah. How much support does he actually have? Well, the polls give him something between 5 and 10 percent of the vote, depending which poll do you believe. And uh, even with this verdict, I don't think that he would get more than 10 percent. But he will almost certainly enter, uh, become an MP in the Serbian parliament. And who knows, maybe once Serbia joins the EU, maybe a member of the European parliament.